what's going on workshop today I drop lights in an engine bay oh I guess we're gonna do that too but so uh, this should be a quick video we're gonna replace this plastic charge pipe with uh, where did where to go oh there it is aluminum piece from VRSF um, this isn't gonna make my car any faster or any louder but it's gonna handle all the big boosts Nice, that's dope. All right, so anyway, that's the metal one. We're gonna put that in replacement of this plastic one. Uh, we need to take that clamp off, um, loosen that bolt, take the that thing down there, the mass airflow sensor, maybe, that thing, and then put the, put the new downpipe there. Um, I really don't think I'm gonna show too much of taking it off. Hey, I'm making a video. We're looking at Harbor Freight tools. Oh, Way more ninety-nine dollars for a one hundred twenty-five piece 200. mechanic set, and it's only one twenty-nine plus a twenty-five percent off coupon. Coupon right there. Okay, right, we're balling out tomorrow. Let's That's a deal. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, man, back to work we go. We're using tools. All right, that's finger loose. Put that down and just do this. This should probably be an easy install, but I feel like we're gonna run into some bullshit. <laughs> you know how it is. All right, we'll get back to you once this bitch is off. All right, great news on the update. Um, wow, <laughs> that was a sentence. Anyway, here's the OEM plastic charge pipe. Boy, you thought we were gonna edit that out? Hell no. This is the OEM plastic charge pipe. Damien just took it out. Thanks, Damien. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is what it looks like, and here's a quick comparison. <laughs> okay, so now that you know what that looks like, we're gonna go put the uh, new VRSF aluminum one in, which hopefully will just, oh. All right, cool, we're done. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments what you guys wanna see on this channel, and subscribe. All right. All right, guys, great news. We got the actual uh, charge pipe attached to the throttle body, as you can sort of see there. You can see it. Uh, mass airflow sensor is still down there. We need to put that on. The coupler and clamps are on the lower charge pipe section. That's, I think that's on loosen right now, wasn't it? Or did you change it? It wasn't. Ow. I just hit that. Right? Yeah. You gotta move your get it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we need to tighten the clamps and then put the mass airflow sensor in, and then I think that's gonna be it. Yeah. It's still fucking tight. Is it tight? I can't believe I can't believe I was about to say we. I can't believe you did this so quickly. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've worked on a car. Yeah, yeah. This is like an actually impressively quick install too. All, dude, there's this one video I saw. Shout out to... Uh, I don't know his channel name. It's not but like he's going to watch us oh, anyway. I, okay. Wow. <laughs> anyway, he took like a while to install this charge pipe on his one series. idiot. Yeah, he's probably really dumb, so I'm not going to say his name. Matter Moo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Big fan, Matt. <laughs> uh, disclaimer. This is not his fault. This is my fault. Uh, we put the charge pipe on, the clamps are tight, they're all nice and solid, but it shakes a little, and it's because we forgot to put on the O-ring, um, inside of the part that mounts to the throttle body. So, now, uh, right, there's already an O-ring in there, actually, you'll see it, so it tucks into there. Um, we need to find a way to, or I mean, not find a way, we just need to take it off and put that in. Well, we're not going to take the whole thing off, because that is a lot of work. So now, how can we be lazy, but efficient? All right guys, so we took the charge pipe out, and as you can see, we got the O-ring. O-ring is supposed to slip into this divot that we'll see right here. Okay, so that's how the O-ring sits inside of the charge pipe. So now, here's what the O-ring does. It makes, oh, does that. Yeah. Um, end of video, I'm gonna go. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is put the charge pipe back in, and I'm not gonna show you that, because, uh, well, we did it once, and. I, it takes time. Dude! What up, sorry? Yeah! Okay, back to the video. Um, so, Damien finished. I didn't do work. So, now it doesn't click up and down. It's in there. 
Still, still kind of moves, doesn't it? Oh, well, this is a tight Oh, so we need to tighten the clamp. But the, the O-ring is in there. The charge pipe is in there. O-ring. Thank you. Can you just... <laughs> No, I need to start my car. So you, you, <laughs> stop. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the charge pipe is in there. We put the map sensor. It's not a mass airflow or I don't know, whatever it is, but it's there. Um, so clutch in, key in, make sure we're in neutral. No check engine. All right, I think it works. I think it's fine. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this, and remember, when in doubt, buy me out of it.